In this video we will learn about the second DMPW that will guide us about the viability of a project. The first one that we learned was about NPV and this one is about BCR. we can here see that how it is calculated it is called as benefit cost ratio because we will compare the benefits and the costs using the ratio method in NPV we used the subtraction method but now we will use the ratio method and there will be no units that is there will be no dollars or any other currency why we will find out so as we said that BCR will be a ratio and you can see that it is a ratio and it is the ratio of the discounted benefits the sum of it and the discounted costs the sum of it so it is as the formula is that is the ratio of discounted benefits the sum of it and the sum of the discounted cost here we have written it in the summation form that we know already the summation form has been used so it should be either greater than one less than one or equal to one now we can calculate it by using an example we will resort to the same example that we have used for NPV so we are going to find BCR this time the same data is available so it's a convenience for us it is spanning over 10 years and here we have taken the discounting factor which is 12 percent and here we have the benefits and the costs now we have calculated the discounted costs separately and the discounted benefits separately because we know that in this case we know we want the values of discounted benefits and the discounted costs separately so in these columns you can see that we have discounted them as we have done this before there is nothing new in this the sum of discounted cost is here the sum of discounted benefits is here in order to find out the benefit cost ratio definitely will divide the sum of the discounted benefits with the sum of discounted costs so here we substituted the values and the values rip, uh, give us the final answer of BCR that is benefit cost ratio which is 1.633 we can easily interpret it that BCR is equal to this which means that it can also be written with one in the denominator and that means that there are no units in it because the units that were there in the numerator as well as in the denominator they were cancelled out because both of them were in a currency so in the numerator as well as in the denominator they got cancelled out and in the final answer there is no unit of the currency secondly numerically its interpretation is that a benefit of 1.633 will be returned if we invest one dollar in this project because in the denominator we have the costs in the numerator we have the benefits so it shows that we can have um, the benefits of 1.633 units if we invest one unit of cost in the project so evidently it's a beneficial project and we can recommend the authorities to undertake this project because it is desirable here it is also mentioned worthy that NPV was e greater than zero that was a positive value so here BCR is representing a positive situation in the sense that it is greater than one which means that we can undertake this project no matter we opt for N NPV or BCR as the criterion of decision both of them are going to give us the same result so in this way we have learnt the second discounted measure of project worth 
by using simply the division of the sum of discounted benefits and sum of discounted costs and the selection criteria for it was that it should be greater than 1 it can also be equal to 1 or it can be less than 1 which definitely are not the desired situations it's uh, being greater than 1 is a desired situation so this is how we calculate the second discounted measure of project worth which is benefit cost ratio thank you